this is just another video in my little series of about uh, little brief intros into branches of philosophy. Uh, in this video, I'd like to briefly introduce the field of philosophy of science. Uh, you could you could possibly break that down into philosophy of natural science or philosophy of social science, but I won't for these for these purposes. Um, basically, what it is it's it's highly related it's highly related to to epistemology, met, metaphysics, and philosophy of language. Um, in that, it's about moving towards. It's talking about the methods and models of of, of moving towards higher knowledge, more knowledge about di about different things, and uh, <clears throat> the field of epistemology is mostly really is mostly really is mostly re related to it. Actually, f philosophy of language might might also be very highly as close as closely related. Uh, because it's it's about <clears throat> it's about <clears throat> more knowledge about different things, higher levels of, of knowledge beyond what what we already have, using using what using what we what we already have, and moving towards knowledge of higher things. Um, you know, logical positivism is one. You know, it's in each of the in uh, each of the articles from that um, era. You have there basically a Epistemology and also a philosophy of science, right in the in the same in the same token, um, and we're talking about you know inquiry into new things and investigation into new things. Um, you know, um, it's you know we think about science. We we think about you know how science gets to things with um, apparatuses and, and such, and it's it's talking about inquiry and scientific discovery and um, investigation and you know figuring out the ways in which we discover and inquire into different things um, and, the, and this is also very important because it's we think about the history of, of science as well um, because the history of science and how things were discovered has a lot of bearing on how things are discovered now and how and how much we know now and history of, history of science and, and philosophy of science are a lot of the same things you know it, it, they're, they're not the same I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to say that but they are they are very important for the same reason because we're in, in philosophy of science to say to say very very briefly it's philosophy about how and the ways in which we come to um, come to have knowledge about different things. Now that's, you know, very, very, very closely related to epistemology, but it's also closely, closely related to philosophy of language because we're talking about, um, you know, what, um, what, uh, observation statements and theoretical statements mean and meaning and stuff, um, has very, has very much importance here. Um, in this book, Scientific Inquiry, uh, which is an anthology uh, writings by, by uh, which is which was collected by uh, Robert Klee. Um, he says in the introduction to these writings, um, philosophy of science might might might, might fr fr fruitfully be thought of as, as composed of two kinds of activities, one, one positive and the other negative, but each as important and, and, and valuable as the other. The, the 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 positive activity involves the construction of de 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 detailed models. That are offered in the attempt to help us understand aspects of, aspects of science that are of special interest to us. In interest to us, there. Uh, the positive positive activity involves the construction of detailed models that are offered in the attempt to help to help us understand aspects of science that are of special interest to us. So, <clears throat> models in that you know that's in and I you know. That it's, I don't I don't want to discuss any certain any certain one article here because this is a little brief intro to this. Um, um, it's a model is a way is something that can help us to understand something better, um, and that's it's about helping us understand things more. And philosophy of science is, is about. Um, you know methods of um, coming to learn more in within the within fields of fields of science, and it's just it's 
hard to describe it without thinking about a certain one um, writing, but it's the negative act, the negative activity consists of detailed of de- detailed evaluation and criticism of such models. Um, this um, it's it's just about that really. It's um, it's um, you know it's epistemic because we're talking about it. We're you know we're talking about ways in which we come to. Um, you know, more and more knowledge, and that's why the logical positivists are epistemologists as well as philosophers of science. Um, you know, in in this in this book, there's you know, um, it talks about th- um, Thomas Kuhn, who has the structure of, of scientific revolutions, which is a book that I should talk about on this channel at some at some point. Um, you know, there's talk. There's t- there's talks about the observational theoretical di- the observational theoretical distinction, which is a linguistic, di- let's just say li- ling- linguistic di- distinction. Um, you know, it's, um, yeah. I think that I think that my uh, my explanation is pretty all right for a. Uh, for a intro, um, and you know, one one opinion in the, in this is is science a deductive? Or, you know, it, but um, many many actually think that science is inductive, and coming towards knowledge on certain issues is inductive rather than deductive, and re- rather than abductive, and that's all interesting. Um, and that's pretty much it. But then there's the issue of the f- of the philosophy of social science, which we're talking about biology, psych- psych- psychology, anthropology, so- sociology, and economics, and thing- th- things like that. Which um, there's this book, which is about it. It's an anthology by Rulich, and then I have this one also. And um, that's just it's different. It's just, um, you know, it's not really about chemistry and physics and, you know, these, you know, these natural sciences and, you know, it's, it's about, you know, these, these, it's about a different kind of, of science. Um, and basically, um, when it comes to philosophy of science, I think this is a great book for it. It has a lot of articles. Um, another one is this big, big, huge, thick book. This has a ton of articles in it. Um, this is one by, uh, it's, uh, edited by Boyd, Gasper, and Trout. This is really awesome, I think. And then I have, um, I have, I, th- I think, I have a couple other things on my Kindle, but that's, that's what I have the, in print. Um, if I, if, if you are a expert in, in the, f- in the philosophy of science, which I am not, um, and you think I missed something that was that that would be important for a good intro? Please comment over over the year, over here, and I'd like to discuss that with you. And if you have any questions about it, and you think that you want to discuss it with me, yeah, you can also com- com- comment there as well. Thank you.